Hi there, it's Anne of Rosy Duck Designs here. Thanks ever so much for joining me today. I have to say that this isn't in fact a tutorial, but it's it's just a very quick video because I just wanted to share with you um, a thank you card that I've made. Um, the reason I made it was one of my lovely friends organised an afternoon tea for a number of us last week and she just went to so much trouble and we all had such a lovely afternoon that I just felt that um, I really wanted to do a special thank you card for her. So what I've done is a very small card and it's housed within one of our little mini pizza boxes and I've tied a piece of chill ribbon across the top just to finish it off. Primarily the designer series paper that I've used is from the uh, Press Flower uh, Speciality Designer Series paper and it's featuring the Rocco Rose which is the one of the 2019-21 colours. I think that thank you is from the Tropical Chic stamp set but please don't quote me on that. As you do with a special card you tend to sort of go through everything that you've got and, and use various um, stamp sets and, and dies so I have used a few different elements um, so here I've used the uh, one of the sentiments from the a big a big thank you stamp set and I've just picked out the larger elements of the letters with some wink of Stella just so it um, gives you that little bit of shimmer when the light catches it and of course because I love Wink of Stella. So you notice that the inside of the box mirrors more or less the inside the first page of the card. Using one of the um, stitched shapes, so the square, the largest square, I've cut that out in Rocco Rose and that's where the message has been written. Um, this is just showing you um, what I what I did before I wrote my message, but there are certain things in life that you don't want to share. So um, that's the blank bit. So flipping it over, we've got cups from the tea together stamp set and the coordinating dies, and the cake is from the piece of cake with its coordinating stamp. Uh, no, not stamp coordinating punch. And again, I've just sort of picked some colours out there, the Rocco Rose, I've coloured it in a little bit and put some Wink of Stella on that. So flipping it over, we've got another teacup and a piece of the designer series paper, again from the um, Press Flower Speciality paper. Then we have a teapot from the Tea Together stamp set, which has been cut out with its coordinating die. And the background here is again paper from the uh, press flower paper and it's got some musical notes on it. So basically I've combined the four major elements of, of the tea party and that was um, really pretty china, uh, very posh china which I'm thankful that I, I managed to drink out of and not break anything. Uh, we had cakes in galore. We also had some lovely background music so hence the the background notes in on this paper was lovely sort of tied it all together and finally there were some lovely flower arrangements on the table so this little bit of designer series paper I thought just pick that out so I hope she's going to like it I'm going to be giving it to her tonight and on the back there that ties in with the front here and then it all pops into the little box and closes up and then we just finish it off with a piece of ribbon. Now it's, I think, quite an effective little card, but it's very, very easy to make. So I'm just going to just say to you or share with you the element of it. And it's basically a piece of your card um, is cut at six and a half by three and a quarter and folded in the middle. So folded at three and a quarter. And it's built up using elements of that. Now, as you build up your card, you may just have to slightly trim the edge. Um, I tended to do that once I'd, I'd almost stuck the card together. But you can do, um, that, that's your front bit, but then you get another piece and you stick it that way around to give you this almost triangle effect. And then another piece stuck on the back to give you the fourfold idea. So 
I will do, I think, um, a tutorial at a later date on it, but I just wanted to share this with you before it goes. And the designer series paper have all been cut out at three by three, and then you just decorate it to, to your own taste and for whatever occasion it is that you're making it for. So that's it for now. I'll be back with a, a, a proper tutorial and hopefully with my my director who is currently downstairs waiting for his, his food. So until next time, thanks ever so much for joining me and I will see you again very soon. Just tie this up. Just to prove I can tie a bow. There we go. So thanks again. I will see you soon. Until then, take care. Bye bye.